Hello and welcome to the example of project crashing. So in this video I will be showing how to do this example of of this project. So we have been told that we can get paid an extra five thousand dollars for every day that we gain. So there are some activities that just never make sense to crash. For example, activity D um, it costs fifty four hundred dollars to crash and we're only getting a benefit of five thousand dollars to crash it so there's no point in ever crashing D similarly there's no point in ever crashing F so I don't know if you wanna do something to remind yourself that oh hey you know what we we can't crash this anymore this is not something that we can think about crashing it sort of simplifies our thinking from the get-go so I am going to make a list of all of the possible paths through the network. So we could go up here from A to B to D to F. So that is one path through the network. A, B, D, F. And that's going to take 7 plus 3 is 10. That's going to take us 17 days. Okay. Another path is A to B to E. E to F. And that is going to take us 7, 10, 9, 20 days. And then the final path, A to C to E to F. And that is going to take us 9, 19 days. Alright, so looking at what we've got right now, the longest path is the A to B to E to F, which takes 20 days. So if we're going to speed up the project, we have to speed up at least one of the critical activities. Now, we know that F can't be sped up, so um, let me see here. Um, uh, yeah, let's see. We could say, yeah, you know what? We just forget about F. We're never going to speed it up. Um, that doesn't make sense. So, out of A, B, E, and F, let's look at the possibilities. A costs four thousand uh, dollars. B costs fifteen. E costs twelve. Oh, sorry. D is not an option. So, never going to speed that up. So, we either have to speed up A or speed up B. Well, obviously. B is the cheaper. So let's let's say that we sped up B. Oh sorry, I meant to look at E. Um, and E was twelve hundred. So I wanted to crash E. Ah shoot, my race tool didn't work like it was supposed to. I'm rusty. No, oh, I click. You can't see I just clicked on the eraser tool. There we go. Alright. All right, so uh, looking at A, B, E, and F, E is the cheapest. So we want to crash E. So we're going to speed up E, and if you want to keep track on the picture, some people find that helpful to do. A, B, E, and F, we're going to crash E. So anything with an E is now going to be one day faster. So this is now down to 19 days, and this is down to 18 days. Um, we had the possibility of crashing E four times, so now we're down to three days. Uh, Some place we need to keep track of how much this is costing us. Um, so it's kind of—I just have a hard time, obviously, drawing on this tablet. Uh, but so doing that cost us twelve hundred dollars. And then uh, let me see here: A, B, D, F. That doesn't have an E in it, so that just stays at 17. Alright, so uh, what's our critical path? Well, still this one here at 19, A, B, E, F. That's a critical path. And E is an option, so let's just crash it again. We'll be down to two days remaining. So keep track here of what we're crashing. Crashing E. Anything with an E in it is now one day shorter. Anything without an E in it is not affected. So this stays at, goes down to 18. This goes down 
is 17. And again, this cost us $1,200 to do that. All right. Uh, golly, what should we crash now? Well, um, let's crash E again. Because um, we still can, and it's the cheapest critical activity. So this one stays unchanged. This one is down to 17. This one is down to 16. And this crashing cost us another $1,200. And now something interesting has happened. Oh, I didn't. Uh, this went from 6 down to 5, and now it's down to 3. And if you look at it, this takes uh, this takes 3, and this takes 3. So, crashing E by itself isn't going to do us any good anymore. I can only crash E and D, but we've already ruled out crashing D, so this crashing E business, that's as far as we can take it. Um, so there's no more benefit to be gained by crashing E. So we either have to crash A or B, and we have to keep in mind that this path is critical and this path. So A, B, D, F, or A, B, E, F. So it's either A or it's B. B is cheaper. Oh, and by the way, we crashed E a third time, so this should have been down to one. Um, so we're going to crash B, um, because it only costs $1,500. So crash B for 1500 and now anything with a B is one day faster, so this is one day faster. Uh, there. And this is one day faster, again, because it has a B in it. So it's down to 16 days. And now this one is also at 16. It just stays where it is because obviously it doesn't have a B in it. So B had two days of crashing available, and now it only has one. So now we have to crash things that are on all of the paths. So we could crash B again if we wanted to, but um, we would have to crash C also. So this is, if you want to keep track on here, this is down to two days. So you can see B and C, these, these two paths are in parallel and take the same amount of time. So if we were to crash B and C, should we? Well, B is 1,500, and C is 3,600. So that's 5,100, which is more than the benefit. So the answer is no. Do not crash B and C. So it looks like we're done crashing B and C together. Uh, the only remaining option is to crash A. So we're going to crash A, and that's going to reduce the time of anything with an A in it. So this is down to 15. This is down to 15. This is down to 15, and the cost of that was... 4,200. If you want to keep track, keep running total there on keep track. A is down to six days, and we had one day available left that we could crash it. Um, again, they're all, all these things were critical, and still, they are all critical. So the only way we can speed them all up is to do the same thing and crash A. Now anything with an A is down to 14 days, but they all have A's in them, so they all go down to 14 days. So, how much money do we make from this crashing? That is the question. So, we have an increase in revenue. Um, $5,000 we gained. We went from doing the project in 20 days down to 16 days sorry, 14 days, so that is a speed up of six days at a cost of, or sorry, benefit of 5,000. That is an increase of 30,000. So we have to subtract out the cost. So if we add up 1,200 plus 1,200 plus 1,200 plus 15 plus 4,200, let's see what we get. So 1,200 times 3, obviously that's 3,600 plus 1,500 plus 4,200 plus 4,200. We have costs of 13,500. So subtracting off costs of 
500. That gives us an increase in profits of 16,500. So that's the best we can do. So we started out with a critical path that went A to B to E to F. And then after we had crashed E a couple of times, then we had a split critical path where B was also critical. And then in the end, C became critical, and then everything is critical. So at each step along the way, we looked at what were the things that could be crashed and investigated the possibilities. And in the end, came up with this answer of speeding things up. Ultimately, six days. Um, well, let me just clean, finish that there. So A had no crashing left. B could have been crashed one more day, but crashing B by itself did us no good. And crashing C by itself did us no good. And the two of them together would cost $5,100, which is more than the benefit. And crashing E here by itself did us no good. So that is the end. That's our answer. Crash E three times. Crash B once. And crash A twice. And uh, we end up gaining six days. And the profits of that are an increase in profits of 16,500.